time on Makers and Shakers, we got What's Up for Chudo, the top five video countdown, book of the week, your suggestions for the perfect gift, and more. Check it. Welcome, my friends, to episode number 14 of Makers and Shakers, a show that highlights people shaking it up in the world of woodworking, arts, metal, crafts, and building. And today I'm going to pour myself a nice stiff Jim Beam. Sounds real weird. So what is going on? Eric and I just finished filming up a bandsaw tips and trick video and we also go over the artwork that you've been seeing on my bandsaw made by my buddy Matt. Matt Taylor is a great local artist and he did an awesome job of converting my bandsaw into a spectacular piece of art. Thank you, Matt. We filmed a couple videos today. Another video that we started to film is my buddy Jim Ether, who is an artist from uh, Eastern Ohio. He painted this dog for me and he filmed himself painting it. And then I am taking it, scanning it, vectorizing it, and then cutting it out in different pieces of acrylic over on the laser cutter. So look for that video soon. All right, let's dive into this week's video. First video is the pallet wood slap bench by Jackman works. It's not easy to make pallet wood projects beautiful and it's definitely not easy to prep and denail all that wood. Check out the sweet looking bench by Paul. Next up we have Making Cotton Candy with an Angle Grinder by William Osmond. This has quickly become one of my new favorite channels. Really entertaining and funny videos. Take a look. We're definitely going to coat your Makita in candy. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. This is William Osmond's channel. We're, we're quick to pull the trigger. What's the worst that could happen? Up next, we have the Jumping Bike Scooter by Make It Extreme. This is a channel that lives up to its name. Most definitely an extreme project. This is mostly made from repurposed exercise equipment, but you wouldn't be able to tell by how polished the end piece looks. Take a look. Up next, we have making a twisted plywood lamp by Allerize. There are two very clever custom jigs in this video, one for cutting small pieces on the table saw and the other for putting a twist into those pieces. Check it. And finally, we have the Sculpted Coffee Table by Pedala Studio. This piece is about to blow your... Even if this isn't your style, I'm sure you'll love how he laminated the wood to carve out the final shape. Take a look. <laughs> To 
like it on the show, make sure that I am subscribed to your channel. Use the hashtag check me out in the comments. Please don't email me. Please don't post a link in the comments down below. Don't try to cheat by mentioning my name in your video. If I'm already subscribed to you, there's no need to put the hashtag down in there because I'm already seeing you. The trick to getting your videos watched is have a great project and a great thumbnail. All right, let's talk about the book of the week. I just got this beauty. This is the Mid-Century Modern Complete, and I love, love, love this book. If you guys know me, you know that I'm a huge, huge fan of Mid-Century Modern, and this book is really the complete book. So many awesome pictures. It has chairs, lamps, furniture, pottery, all kinds of really awesome, cool stuff in here. Very detailed chapters on uh, a lot of individual artists in here. Talks about the history, where it came from, where it is now. Really, really good book. I really want to get into more of the history of mid-century modern. I want to educate myself so I know what I'm talking about. Yes, it's a really expensive book, but if you're into this stuff, it's definitely worth it. Plus, it makes a great coffee table book. I'll have the link to this guy down in the description below. Ouch. Last week, I asked you, what's the perfect gift to make for your significant other? I can't make you the perfect gift because I don't have the tools to make it. Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Nice tools so I can make her more perfect gifts. You guys think like I do. For your significant other, either a cutting board book, bandsaw box book, or a cutting board bandsaw box made from reading said books hashtag sponsored i like you i like how you think if you don't know he's referring to these two guys written by me david picciuto those should have been the book of the week i don't get this one solid ebony because it's so hard and then i had to look this up diy matt wrote drill dough attachment i made the mistake of googling drill dough attachment do yourself a favor do not google image search Drill dough attachment. All right, so next week's question is, in your dream workshop, what is the one weird ass thing you'd want to have in it? Use the hashtag dream shop down below in the comments so I can find your answers. All right, folks, this is my second channel over on my main channel. We put out project videos every Thursday and sometimes on Tuesday. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook, and if that's not enough, I do a weekly audio podcast with Jimmy Duresta and Bob Cleggett. And if you're seeing this in time, I'm doing a meetup Saturday, June 3rd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Kencraft Company in Toledo, Ohio. If you're not familiar with them, Kencraft is my local hardwood dealer. It's a family-owned business. I've become friends with them. Love the folks over at Kencraft, so if you're in the Toledo area, come say hello. All right, folks, that is it. Be safe, stay passionate, have fun, and make something. Time for some more whiskey. Turn down for toast!